Hey, I'm Colby Keller, porn star, artist, and sex blogger. Get in bed with me. Hey there, guys. It's me, Colby Keller, your resident sex expert, here to answer all of your pressing sexual concerns. Today, I'd like to address a personal favorite of mine. It makes for great foreplay, though it's not everyone's 4K. Can you guess it? That's right, eating ass. Rimming along with fingering makes an excellent prelude to fucking, but it does demand a certain level of skill. Tips for receiving might seem obvious. One, make sure you're thoroughly clean. Very few of us enjoy eating a dirty ass. Two, try not to fart in your partner's face. Even fewer of us enjoy that. Three, most importantly, and completely unrelated to number two, don't be silent. If you like something, let your partner know. Don't just sit there with your ass in the air. Interact. It helps to be engaged. Moan, make noise, spread your ass apart. Make it interesting for them and yourself. And just don't grind too hard in your partner's face. We don't want to knock anyone's teeth out. I have been uh, close to having that happen to myself. It was not very pleasant. Um, and remember, no area of the body may be more private than this private area. Lots of people are self-conscious about their buttholes for some very good reasons. Everyone has their own idiosyncratic preferences, though cleanliness is probably the most common. Particularly when it comes to body hair, this area may be the most regulated of any on the male body. Some guys like it shaved and smooth. Others prefer, uh, prefer a hirsute pucker. Okay. If you're getting rimmed, just remember it's your body. Don't feel obligated to give a reach around with your razor if you're not comfortable with it. There are plenty of guys that like to eat a hairy hole. Now, if you're like me and enjoy giving as much as receiving, here are a few helpful tips for giving an expert rim job. One, variety is the spice of life. You're not licking an ice cream cone, remember that. Keep them guessing. These are a few things I like to do. You might like to do them too. Um, fuck their pucker with your tongue. Um, have them bend over, grab their dick, pull it back, lick them from their cock, hit their balls, all the way back up the crack to their butthole. It's a very popular one. Um, bite their ass cheeks. Um, gently, bite their ass cheeks. Um, slap their ass. Rub your facial hair, if you have it, in the furrow of their ass. Blow on their butthole. Kiss it. Be gentle, be rough. Listen to your partner's response. If they don't like something, don't do it. If they like it, do more. Okay, now this one is for the advanced students only. Um, you can try fingering their ass while you eat their hole at the same time. Now to accomplish this one successfully, you need to have confidence that your partner is fully douched and you're both comfortable with exploring a little bit further. Some guys really love this, some guys really don't, especially if you have sharp fingernails, okay? If you're like me and you don't have any fingernails, <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Um, this last tip is more of a suggestion and may seem like an odd suggestion at that, um, but several years back I had sex um, with the world's most adept ass eater I have ever come across. True story. Um, there were things that he did to my butt I can't even find the words to describe. Um, I've actually tried to replicate his techniques on several occasions with very limited success. I don't know what it was that he was doing back there, but it certainly worked. Um, one thing that he did do that surprised me, but actually worked very well, he poured honey down my ass crack and proceeded to lick it clean. Um, food might not seem like the best accompaniment to a full course of ass, but I certainly enjoyed it, and you might too. Try it, guys. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.